Sistinia by Elizabeth Bishop Summer rain falls on the house. In the falling light, the old grandmother sits in the kitchen with the child, beside the little marble stove, reading the jokes from the almanac, laughing and talking to hide her tears. She thinks her eloquent tears and the rain that beats off the roof of the house were both foretold by the almanac but only knows to a grandmother the iron kettle sings on the stove. She cuts some bread and says to the child, It's time for tea now. But the child is watching the tea kettle's small hard tears dance like mad on the hot black stove. The way the rain must dance on the house. Tidying up, the old grandmother hangs up the clever almanac on its string. Bird like the almanac hovers half open above the child, hovers above the old grandmother and her teacup full of dark brown tears. She shivers and says she thinks the house feels chilly and puts more wood in the stove. It was to be, says the marble stove. I know what I know, says the almanac. With crayons the child draws a rigid house and a writhing pathway. Then the child puts a man with buttons like tears and shows it proudly to the grandmother, but secretly, while the grandmother busies herself about the stove, the little moons fall down like tears from beneath the page of the almanac into the flower bed the child has carefully placed in the front of the house. Time to plant some tears, says the almanac. The grandmother sings to the marvellous stove, and the child draws another inscrutable house. That was Sustainia by Elizabeth Bishop, read by Smith Coe. If you want more poems, you can find them on our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening once again. For more content, please visit the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs>